Praise God, everybody. I pray that you are all doing well. About uh, three weeks ago, I released a word that said the Lord is controlling every circumstance as it pertains to you and your kingdom spouse. And if you had a um, an order from the Lord to fall back, all right, to not contact your spouse or to let them alone, let them be in that quiet place that you were to follow it. Well, the Lord has pointed out that many of you have not. Many of you have been continuing to poke. They've been, you've been continuing to pry. You've been continuing in correspondence or trying to have correspondence with this person, with this person's family, with mutual friends. Um, and it, it has not been boding well. And the Lord simply wants you to stop. He says that whatever comes as a result of these fixes that you've tried to insert are of your flesh and they are not of the spirit. They are Ishmael's. And this is not the intended way that the Lord wants you and your spouse to connect. Therefore, it will not be blessed. All right. The Lord has an appointed time for your spouse to open their eyes and see who you are. There's an appointed time for your wedding. There's an appointed time for you to be presented to the community as husband and wife. There's a uh, appointed time for you to share your testimony. All right. And whatever, whatever um, plan you came up with to try to speed that along or try to facilitate the that happening it's it's not it's not going to work the lord says stop you're actually getting in the midst now and you're starting to cause delays because you will not simply take your hands off of the matter and let the lord work on the other person it's essential that the other person hear from the lord in the same way that you've heard from the lord pertaining them do not rob them of that do not rob them of their healing time. Do not rob them of their time where they're going through the process and getting confirmation by trying to jump the gun and get in there and be all up in their face, for lack of better words. All right. Um, so, yeah, because you have taken the fix into your own hands, you do have to repent for that because the Lord did not call you to do that. Um, I have some prayer points that I am going to I'm just going to read them. And then I'm going to put them in the description box. So if this is you, you can go in your quiet time with the Lord and you can um, take these to the Lord and, and you know, sort things out with the Lord. You do need to go back to the Lord on this. Okay, because you've done some things he didn't ask you to do. And while he's not, he's not upset, he's not going to take anything from you, repentance is due. Okay, because you were disobedient. And moving forward, you have to understand, do not insert your hands into things that the Lord did not call you to do. When we do things here in the natural, there are spiritual consequences for them. When things happen in the spirit, natural things occur. All right? And so something very small, like a text message or a phone call, can alter things spiritually that we aren't even aware of. So it's so important that when you reach out to these people or when you have correspondence with them, that it is led by the Holy Spirit, right? That you're led by God to do so. So the first prayer point is forgive me, Lord, purge, cleanse, and deliver me from everything that has come along with my act of disobedience in the name of Jesus. When you forgive me, and cleanse me, Father. Please restore everything and my positioning before the infraction. Meaning, whatever it is that you may have knocked out of line before you did what you did. I'm sorry, when you did what you did. You need the Lord to undo that now. You need the Lord to undo that for you now. And he will. He wouldn't, be, he wouldn't be telling you to come to him if he wasn't willing to fix this for you, okay? So um, the verse that he gave me to go along with this is Isaiah 22, verses 8 through 11. That's Isaiah 22, verses 8 through 11, and I'm going to read it for you right now. Um, it says, The Lord stripped away the defenses of Judah, and you looked in that day to the weapons in the palace of the forest. You saw that the walls of the city of David were broken through in many places. You stored up water in the lower pool. You counted the buildings in Jerusalem and tore down houses to strengthen the wall. You built a reservoir between the two walls for the water of the old pool, but you did not look to the one who made it or have regard for the one who planned it long ago. 
And what this is describing is there, there's an enemy coming against Jerusalem. And so instead of praying to their God about it and waiting for the Lord to give them instruction and deliver them, they take things into their own hands. They start storing up provisions. They start re they start ripping apart their houses. <laughs> They start literally taking cedar off of their houses, using it to fortify walls. And the Lord is looking at all of this like, you didn't come to me. I'm the one in control here. They took things into their own hands. They they went ahead of the Lord and it angered him. And that's what we don't want to happen, right? In these seasons of marriage, we don't want to go ahead of the Lord. We don't want to anger him. We don't want to knock ourselves out of alignment for anything that he has for us. We want the fullness of our harvest. And the only way to get that is to be obedient. I know, I mean, we're all humans. I know we want things when we want them. It's our nature. We live in a microwave society. We want things now. The Lord told us that we could have these things, so we want to have them now. But it's so important spiritually for the main, for for us to be able to maintain these things. We have to go through this process and we have to go through it well. All right. So I love each and every one of you with the love of Christ. Continue to email me your prayer requests. Um, if you have questions, feel free to email them to me as well. Until next time, take care and I love you all so, so much.